According to Meals on Wheels America, one in six seniors struggles with hunger. Okay, my name is Deb Robertson. I'm the executive director of SPAN, which is SPAN Transportation and Meals on Wheels of Denton County. Uh, SPAN has been around for 44 years now, serving De all of Denton County, originally specifically aimed at providing services for seniors, helping seniors age in place. We've expanded from that to primarily provide services for seniors, but now we serve people with disabilities, veterans, and the general public. We actually uh, serve almost 110,000 meals over the course of the year. Just over 80,000 of those were home delivered meals to homebound seniors and folks with disabilities. Because of federal nutrition regulations, Meals on Wheels isn't looking for food donations. However, there are other ways to give back to the community. Now volunteers are incredibly helpful to us. We couldn't run our home delivered meal program without them. And the interesting thing about the Meals on Wheels program is for our homebound seniors, that visit by that volunteer Monday through Friday is as important to them as the actual meal. You know, they tend to be a little isolated, they can get lonely, and just having that friendly, caring person show up, do a little safety check, make sure they're okay, see how they're doing. Um, we call it more than a meal now, just because the clients tell us that, that that contact with the volunteer is so incredibly important. And the volunteers love it. It's a great volunteer experience, because they, they get to know the seniors to whom they deliver, they develop relationships, and they tell me that it's just a wonderful volunteer experience. Well, we serve all of Denton County. As you know, Denton County, one of the fastest growing counties in the country, and the senior population is keeping up just like that. Denton County is a wonderful, supportive community. We get donations, we get folks that help with volunteering, and it's, it's just a wonderful place to be providing the service. But again, with that growing senior population, we're just gonna need to be able to increase our capacity to be able to keep up with the demand and again, make this the, the great community that it is.